Dash. And the chain of Amagad Dash can't hold us. There's this song where they ring for my head. What happened to Deborah can happen to anybody. It happened to Titi Lokwe Arotile. It happened to so many other people that we have seen who have died and their death in vain. But Bukwari is in, uh, Bukwari is in, uh, what do you call it, is in uh, Dubai right now to go and pay condolences uh, visit to the king of uh, Dubai. Babylon, God bless you, Jerry. So, you know, and that's why I'm here. I am not here because of uh, just the Yoruba nation. No. I have spoken about the Shiites. You as a Yoruba man, you know now about uh, the Shiites. Abi, and you are kind of compassionate. You, can, you, you, you have empathy towards their cause. That's not what Nigeria told you. Nigeria said they were potential terrorists. But I spoke about them. Does that make me uh, a member of the Shiites? Of course not. I spoke about the Biafrans. I remember when Biafrans, some of my Biafran brothers, when they came, they said, Mazi Namdikanu said we should come and be listening to you. I was like, oh, well done. But my brother, you came late. There are Biafrans who have been listening to Mayegu, including Mazi Namdikanu himself, before he made that recommendation. And they are based on uh, what you see is what you get. This is me. It is whatever you see now, waiting you see, you get to. So when they now say, like, uh, hey, we want you to, I say, hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Mayegun's diary political. Remember that. So they decided saying, oh, Mayegun, what is this thing with uh, the Biafrans? I said, does that make me IPOB member? It doesn't. I speak about uh, their injustice because it is the same thing that happened to the Shiites that they are doing to the IPOB, the propaganda, the everything around them. So, because I know that, uh, I, wait to make uh, Shiites get angry. We make IPOB say with the go. If you as a Yoruba man or Yoruba woman, if you are paying attention very well, you are going to be demanding for the same thing. But boom. Yoruba nation, my own people decided that they were going to. I'm like, oh, great. That's fine. Now, how can we go about this? While we were trying to figure that out, okay, oh, yeah, we know, oh, yeah. Bang. They wanted to kill Igbo. Then it became serious. I was like, you see, that's how they tried to kill Sunday. I mean, they tried to kill him. I'm a Yoruba man. Does that then automatically make me a member of your Elan or whatever other group you all created out there? It doesn't. He. No, it doesn't. And not be member of any of your shady organizations in the name of Yoruba, Yoruba Nation. Eh? Does that make me a less Yoruba? Of course not. But you know, you know, Adeyinka Grandiot also said he's fighting for Yoruba Nation. You remember? Is my brother eh, he did jail now. Because his own concept of the Yoruba nation is not different from the Afghanistan Taliban. And to me, as a Yoruba man, that is completely alien to me. And I opposed it. I opposed that. I didn't hide that. I said that loud and clear on my Yegun's diary political. And I warned the people. This is an extremist uh, move that can never be Yoruba. I mean, I'm a Yoruba man. You can no longer tell me this is a diff there is a different Yoruba that I should know of. So I objected to that. And I never have any regrets about that. Some people don't like me for that. So if I am not a member of any of your bogus, uh, shady organizations, right, does that make me less of a Yoruba man? Of course not. So that is why I said, before Nigeria happened to me, me, I go scream, oh. We started streaming, and people said, my, you're going to stop streaming alone. Let us start acting. Eh? So make could not tempt us. So if we said that uh, we want to raise uh, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 pounds, uh, 1 million pounds, 
to help our people back in Yoruba land. It is never going to be all around there what you think. Do you know that? It is going to be all around what we think here. And that is why, you know, I don't usually go and everywhere and say, hey, help us promote this, help us promote that. I do, I bet some of those I even gave money to. I bet uh, many, many of those of them, many of, sorry, many, many of them, I bet uh, if they ever actually like uh, promoted uh, the fund, but they have opinion about it and won't weary. So, ma, ma, ale, mokayo de wow. Ebo, ma, ale, mokayo de wow. Oti, ye, yesin. I will only respect simply because we know that uh, nobody is in Nigeria. I mean, nobody is in charge of Nigeria. Since nobody is in charge of Nigeria, and all these are happening, it is always better, number, not just to tell the people the truth, don't make up lies, don't cook up all this nonsense that some of you are cooking up, just to make you look like, uh, yeah, we are doing all this nonsense. Don't, make, don't cook anything up. Tell people the truth. That will do wonders. That's what I do. That is what I do. I speak it. And you can then say, my husband, that is your own truth. But it is not the whole truth. I say, okay, fine. But I've said my truth. Hard down to your own truth. So then do better. That's me. And that is why on my husband's diary political, I said, I don't know how to give orders. There's no point in trying to say you want to give order to people. I, do you even know the people, the kind of people who watch uh, my husband's diary political? I'm talking about people who are in their 50s. 40, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Now, the people where you they want make a come here, come they say I'll be leader, and they give order. All of you must sit at home tomorrow. That's the kind of thing. Mayegun, you need you need to ginger your people. You are made for this. People have told me that many times. Ah, Mayegun, you are made for this. You, you should be ready to lead your people. And I say, uh, when you are done with your fantasy, you will come to the reality. I am not that kind of a person. I am just this conscious, your conscious, your conscience, something that you probably, the last voice that will be ringing in your head. After you've known all that happened in Nigeria today, or in the past, uh, in the past and all that, I am the voice that will continue to remind you that Nigeria is still here because you want Nigeria to still be Nigeria. Once you begin to feel like, uh, no, this is not it, this is not, you know? And that is why when I speak about uh, when I speak about uh, the revolution now, it is because of the injustice against them. Does that not make me a member of a Shiwore party? Shiwore is my friend, though. And trust me, as a free thinker, where I'll be, eh? I go see, give him money for the election that he is doing. Do you know that? Not because I believe in the whole thing, but for me, as part of my own uh, whatever, I can still give him and say, oh, boy, take this one. Oh, I wait till I get with that. Oh, God help you. Oh. But me and call, oh, I know, I know, I know, my hand, no deal. I can still do that. Or maybe I should even for, uh, confess, I have done that already. Yeah, I've reached out and said, okay, Mr. Shouwere, does that make me a member of their whatever? It doesn't. But when I see an injustice towards them, coming from a system that has, that has done us so much wrong, only if we have paid attention for long. The system that has done us so much wrong, we realize that if we come together, and that is the common interest I, I've, been looking, I've been looking for. And on my ego's diary political, on my ego's diary political, I have achieved that. So some said, when I talk, I'm sounding arrogant. Yeah, people have told me that before. They said I'm arrogant, of course. People have told me I'm proud. How do you think you typing it now? You typing that in the comment and say, he's so proud, he's arrogant. How do you think that? I mean, why do you think that's going to actually make me feel like, oh, oh I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm not proud. Uh, I'm not arrogant. -y. Uh, it's not like that. Let me explain. Iwa Eh, Eh, 
e ni mu were wa ni ko mu were lo ki lo kan mi ate motion were se mo proud ni yes o right se ma is am ayegun arrogant of oh, very very arrogant very very arrogant and am ayegun is becoming proud today ah all oh, day so you are just knowing something that some others have known for for years and according to them eh na mumu they listen to mayegun no be so so you just you are just discovering and it's shocking you if that is how i come out to you mommy daddy along you are right along bo wallahi e right mayegun e proud sha along e right Oh you arrogant right. If uh, that's how it came to you, if this is how this whole thing is to you, that's why I said when I talk, when I talk, I do all my talking, I do everything, I leave them to you too. Ah, my my I love that broadcast last night. That broadcast that you you are laughing, you are saying you enjoy. I love that your last you are very real. You are some people are angry right now. They are watching with this. Now, the same video they are watching. They are watching the same video like you. You are laughing because you feel like, hey, am I going to tell them? Some people are angry right now. What is he talking about? It's just rabble rousing. My friend, just, just make a point. Just say something better. All this nonsense. They are dead, but they are here for the past one hour. If I continue just going about, going about in circle, in circle, all of you will be laughing. You will be laughing. Sorry, many of you will be laughing. These ones will be like, uh, it's just wasting our data. They are here. So what do you, that's why I tell people, and what I wanted to ensure, you know, why I am like this is this, okay? People will call you names. Especially if you don't kind of tailor yourself according to their expectations. They are always pretty much like, uh, mm. no, 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 no. I, mean, no, no. I don't listen to that, guys. It's all rubbish he talks. Now, the same rubbish to his ears is a melody to your own ears. My ego continue. Fire there. I get some meruku here. Uh, then, uh, I know they're they wrong for their face. I know they're they wrong. Some of you are even be like, uh, let us, let me, I'm just advising my Yegun. I'm just advising him. Let, let me advise him. Because some of you feel like my Yegun cannot be, oh, Tony. Because every name you want to call my Yegun, my Yegun himself has been calling himself those names. Because those names came by because some people felt like you shouldn't have said that. And you should have kept that, you know, you should have kept that to yourself. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have embarrassed that person that way. We know that uh, they did, you know, but we shouldn't and all of that. And that is how, that is how many, many of you adults today eh, have kept mute even when you saw wrong things going on. You have joined them. And I don't want our children. I have children who watch uh, Mayegu. Yeah, there are children who watch Mayegu. I don't want you to tell them to keep short when they see something wrong. You need to let them know that when they see something wrong, eh? They must tell you and they must not be afraid of any punishment for because whoever they are talking about is uh, this person is that person now when i come uh, this uh abroad i, I realized that uh, they did us bad in nigeria very bad terribly bad when they say keep your mouth short uh you cannot tell uh, you my brother eh then we banu to junior eh o ba je 70 years o ba je 80 o ba je 90 to ba je omo if okay let me put it this way they say you you don't tell a uh, elder elderly person that uh, their mouth is smelling but it is not like uh, a smelly mouth it is pretty much like a smelly character if you are a young person you can't tell elderly person that uh, they have a terrible characters you get what I mean? Because if you say that, those who are coming after you, they are going to say that to you too. Why don't you just stop uh, silly characters, smelly characters? Why don't you just stop that as an elderly, as an old person? 
so that that person coming behind you will not smell your dirty, stinking, odious character. Eh? So that you won't have to say it. So they say, mm, 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 everything we they talk. <laughs> because you see, all these people, eh? If you are talking like this, eh? They are not going, you know, when they have an up, when people say, when they recommend your name somewhere for a position or for a job, they will say, oh, that boy that can talk and talk, that has no respect, they won't give you the job. They won't give you the support. They won't give you this and that. And many, many of you didn't see anything wrong in that. Imagine. You didn't see anything wrong in that. Until I came to this, the Luo Yibo, this abroad. <laughs> abroad. Abroad, dear. Until I came to this abroad, or I came to Scotland, I realized the, the damage is done because it simply means if you are too, they say, uh, because your mouth is so sharp, you think say your mouth sharp, nobody go help you. Now, when I came here, I realized that uh, I don't need anybody to help me. All I needed was to help myself. Are you, do you understand? Like, I just have to help myself. How? Get some skill, get a job, and get a life. So if I say something and you don't like me, why, 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 why you won't give me a job? Which job you won't give me? Eh? Why do you want to help me? Why do you want to give me money? Why do I have to come to you and say I need help? Why? Eh? When I don't have to beg you for money to go to hospital. I don't have to beg you for money to send my children to school. I don't have to beg for money to feed. I don't have to beg you for money to pay my rent. You know, why should I need your help? And, you know, in the future, you may say you want to be this. Okay. So because I call the thieves, thieves, you agree that the thieves can deny me whatever I am rightfully qualified for in your Nigeria. Uh, if you are the kind of person who think like that, too. Now, now, one of the damages done to you by Nigeria, I don't need your pie. I don't need your, me personally, eh? I don't need your connection. I don't need your, uh, what do you call it? And all those, you don't need them. You can only help yourself. But I understand if you are watching me from Nigeria, I understand. You have to watch your mouth so that uh, somebody cannot, uh, eh? so that you can get help. So all these influential people, eh? they can help you. They can do all of that. That is what we are trying to change. That's part of the mentality that has kept many of you to continue to recycle criminals who continue to do the same thing again and again to you with the same results, but even worse. That's the reason. You are looking for a day when you are going to be somebody and you don't want anybody to come and say, ah, you don't know this boy. You know, for example, now if you see my poster, I say, my my egun for governor. Photo. Am I seeing well? Like, is that my egun for governor? Hey, okay. No, me this say my egun be this. This one where they talk, 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 talk. Oh yeah, now come and be governor. Oh yeah. I don't want to be your governor. I don't want to be your anything in this your fraudgeria, like somebody will say. I am trying to be alive. I am trying to say you should try to be alive. You know, get um. It's not about just me. It's about you too. I always wanted you to see that uh, for every action, there is always uh, a counter or what's it they call up? Chain a contrary or opposite reaction. And so life be. So the moment, see, let me say this, the moment you know that if you go to college, as many, many of you are graduates, imagine you are graduates, eh? five years, 10 years, you have never had a real job. Eh? You have been doing one thing or the other, and you are graduate. Oh. Some of you have been graduate for one year, two years now. Now, recharge card, you did say, eh, she persuaded they said, recharge card, no be human being. I didn't say that. I'm just saying, if your mentality says your helper is going to come from those who see your mumu and the sense that you can manage your mumu, you are not speaking and talking, talking. Are you with me? So, that is not normal. 
graduate or person who go school, you graduated. Nigeria happened to you. Eh? You are living from hand to mouth. You are camp you are championing APC, championing PDP, sh shouting here and there, one Nigeria here and there. And then you are watching your mouth. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, somebody said I should put on my abeti aja. Don't worry, leave abeti aja for now. We'll do that some other time. They are making you live a life of, I mean, I mean like, like below average lives. Of course, now, graduates, when they go to church, they go pray, say, may God bless them with job. God, I pray for job. They say, why do you have to go and pray inside the church, that, inside the warehouse, former warehouse that they turn to, they turn to business center, church? Why? It doesn't make any sense to me. But his fellow Nigerians, we be say all oh, this God God thing a different thing to them. My 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 don't say that don't say that don't say that. My don't say that. I don't I don't see. Let me tell you, in Leviticus verse I mean chapter three verse this. In the uh, in uh, this they will start quoting me and say my you need to read this and that. God said God I said Baba. And the same thing we they talk about. If to say everything they walk, there's nothing wrong in going to pray. But you are going to go and pray that God should give you a job. And you know that, Baba, say no be ninja. Which job? Which job? God. So God can't give you a job. Can't make you media advisor to MC Olu Eron. You can't go to church, go do Thanksgiving. You see, that's how God works in a miraculous way. Baba. Me, yeah, I know, I'm just saying, you know, here in the UK, I didn't have to go and do fasting and this and that. And I said, you deserve a working system where you don't have, because if you don't go through that now, some of you would go through that too. It can't make you the question, God say, oh boy, I say, God, no, even care and all of that. But God cares for those who believe so much in God. But Nigeria will make you become a madman. That will be quoting Bible. That will be quoting Quran in your mental, in your in your totally beaten mental state, in your psychosis state. You go to see vision. You go to predict. You go to do all of that. But when you bring your vision to the reality, it don't make any sense. That's what Nigeria does to you, and that is why I continue to manage my myself. My, I mean, try to tell people on how you go to the political data. This information are free. Whatever you want to do with it, please do with it. The reason why they will tell you not to, res to, to respect thieves, to defend criminals, and to pray to God to send you grace is because these criminals that you are praying for, now them can't hold your grace. Your, your, your daughter is very sick. Some of you, eh? You are this close to abject poverty. Some of you, now one single sickness remain. Just one single sickness go confirm that you are already in poverty when you are going to sell everything you think you have right now just to pay for medical bills. And then you probably will still be praying to God as well. Eh? And say, God, please, eh, God, please don't leave me. Poor God, don't do God, come and defend. God, come and save me. Forgetting the fact that God has given you the brain. That if you have a working medical system, you probably stand a chance 50-50 if you are not going to become medical, I mean, sorry, poverty. I mean, sorry, there's, there's this definition I want to give to it. It is a, a poverty caused by health concern. You know what I'm talking about? Today, you have small car. You, do, you do have car. You have house. Some of you have small savings in the bank. And when they talk about the rot and where Nigeria has come to today, you tell them to shut up. Shut up your mouth, Jari. You don't know what you are talking about. But now, one single sickness go show you that uh, you are not different from those who are sleeping under the bridge in Lagos. Some of them, they had prospect. They had life in the past. Nigeria happened to them because they never believed it, it could ever happen. Some of them are still alive. Others never live to tell this story. 
Now that is what Nigeria can do to you. And that can happen to you from anywhere, whether you are a Christian or, uh, or, a, or a Muslim or wherever you are. I am concerned about that. And that is why if uh, people say, let us go for Yoruba, <laughs> thank you, Jare, Yeni, I will go arrogant to Tobala arroganti, Tobala proud to, a proud to. In fact, if you are a member of Mayegun's Diary Politico, I'm talking about those of you who are not on Mayegun's Diary Politico because of conditional love. I don't like conditional love. No, they use condition for the love where you have for me. I like Mayegun. No, they put conditional. I love this Mayegun so much. Don't use condition. Ah, I respect this Mayegu so much. I beg, no hard condition, no. Don't they, if you had condition, eh, I they quick lose respect to. So if you are a member of uh, all these uh, Mayegu's Diary political disciples, the Mayegu's Diary political brethren, everywhere you go, just tell them, I am a proud member of uh, Temple of Truth. We are proud, proud people. I am an arrogant member of uh, Mayegun's Diary Political Temple of Truth because we are arrogant. How can you know the truth eh? and then still be slave to lies? How? Is that possible? You know the truth. Eh? And then because you don't want to offend people, you will just pretend to be a slave to lies. Aba, to ba arrogant, ni ke arrogant, ke kakpaso ke gidi. To ba je proud ni ke proud o ke gbe ke gbe san soke tan o ba soro ju ke soro gba won don't let anybody intimidate you with uh, you know i'm a old man shemi jeje shemi jeje o you know i'm an old man you know i'm an old woman shemi jeje o uh, any old man or old woman eh who comes around who do anyhow who think they can take advantage of uh, what we call the yoruba respect and everything eh Baba, shake him. Eh, shake him. Balak, banya ko shubu. So, but ema ema pao. You get what I mean now? Because what they use most of the time is this kind of a rubai ni. Ah, e wamo e mashik be funel. Baba, e kwenye ole mo anybody. E kwenye ole mawa. E wo wadada. Awa gon u sha. E kwenye ole muwa. You get me now. Do me, do me, do me, gent. You know I'm an old man. Don't, don't, don't talk to me. Don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do anyhow, you go see anyhow. Tell them. I was arrogant to you, Jo, for the sake of your own mental health. Please, oh, don't join these arrogant people. Don't join these proud people. Eh? Because these proud and arrogant people, they have known the truth. They can no longer bow to the lies. If that hurt your feelings. Oh. Somebody said I should rather just say. As you they see with us, you go depend them. As you depend them, you go they see with us. So you are jumping up and down today. For APC, for PDP, you are not, if some of you are not even keeping prisoners. But I day here now, it is on this platform. It is also on this platform eh, that uh, some people said, telling people the truth that they know is going to make them to go and reject their leaders and possibly fight them, shake them, shake them, and all of that. If you say some of them say, maybe you know to shake out. If you do shake out, this person, if you take my you It's like if you if you shake it, if you if you watch if you right now, if you shake and shake and shake and shake and shake and shake and like three times or four times, eh? They could just say, yeah, carry them. You don't you don't kill them. Now you go buy coffee. So 
So this is the generation that will shake you, Agbalagba. So you watch, when they say we should watch what we say, uh, you should be, you should, you should watch what you say. Mama, Baba, we are advising you, Ma. Look at us very well. You should also watch where you drop advice. Some advice, uh, some advices are not solicited. Eh? Some advices, if you give it to us, eh, you go collect. You know all those things they will say, mo the entire lati advice here, new. Eh? Say, sir, kilo she in lo juba, kilo deti bobo juju juba. Why, why, why do you have all this swollen face, sir? <laughs> Help me, ke. Help me. The advice I give him. I was trying to advise him to say he should. Uh, he should. Sir, lo juju wa juba i baba. Ah, sorry oh, sorry oh, sorry oh. May God no allow. May them kill you. So stay away from us. We don't need validation of anybody who feels like uh, respect is now too, uh, what do you call it, meta -cobo. If you want to get any respect anywhere, you will earn it. People are dying and politicians are making money from that. And then uh, some other people are also making money from that. And it's pretty much like our people are in dilemma. And you watching me right now, you probably actually know that uh, our people are in that dilemma. So we need their clarity. And we cannot get clarity if we tell our children not to say the truth. If we tell our children to close their eyes and cover their ears when they have to hear the truth. Don't do that to this generation coming. Don't do that to your children. They will say things you don't like. They are not comfortable. They're going to say things. Before, now before, before they talk, say... Wherever, I mean, waiting elders they see, when they sit down, when young, young people, even if they climb 25-story building, they cannot see it. All those things, now, Bobo, you don't know well, because see anything. The older you get, eh, the blurry your vision will become. You know that. Medically, who, the, older, the older you become the weaker your organs will start becoming, including the nerves in your, in your eyes uh, there. So may anybody not try to, to tell us uh, nonsense, okay? Agbalagba, we sit down. Where they see future. Tell me, how many of these, all these Agbalagba, where you have today, in Nigeria, in Yoruba land, in everywhere, how many of them saw what they happen today? Is that, ah, in year 2022, a Boko Hari is going to, uh, uh, then a full and terrorists are going to be killing people, and Yorubas are going to be poor. Then this, uh, how many? How many of these, all these uh, useless, uh, bogus uh, leaders? How many of them? How many of them saw the future? Waiting them do about them. Waiting them do. Uh, no do anything because they no see them. Um, nobody see say. Nigeria will end up like this. They thought na miracle, Messiah will come someday. Somebody will come. And so thieves, thieves started taking turns. They were giving them promises, different promises. Now they are old. They, they are very old now. And they are now giving us advices. My friend, my friend, listen, listen. Omodoli la shobiagba. Kutu la kisa biagba. A shoko lanso. A kisa kolanso. Ogbon ori lanso. Iriri lanso, kari ojo waju jino jino lanso. Baba, calm down, ensoro ju. Enu yin dun. Enu yin tanyi, enu tanyi, enu yin dun. Enje, en la o yin ju, enu yin dun. Sweet mouth. My friend, listen. A, 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 a child cannot have clothes like elders and still have akisa, that is a, the, the rags. A, a young child, you can never have rags like elders. It is not about clothes. It is about experience. It is about vision. It is about seeing things. It is about this, uh, all those things. Now, Bobo, now lie. No, they believe them. Now, lie. Are you with me? They know they see Shingbai. They know they see waiting. Shingbai, they know see. How many of them saw today? How many of them saw that our people are going to end up as refugees? How many of them saw that our people are going to be paying ransom to terrorists? How many of them saw that uh, we are going to end up this way? And what did they do? Then the young, young people who have now seen that uh, 
Me, I don't want to end up like all this uh, babao. I don't want to end up like all this mamao. They were young like us too. You see, all of these uh, mama watching me right now, baba watching me. Many of them are in their 70s, 60s. They are watching my yugun right now. They are there. Look at them. See? Mama? Grandma? She what? Yeah, she's watching me. Look at her. They were once like us, young. I'm not blaming you for what is going on now. I'm just saying that you were young like us too. I don't know vision where you see you. I don't know the future you saw. But if I ask you now, ma, mommy, say now the future where you saw be this when you are in my age. Is this the future you saw? 40 years ago, ma. Che future terin yeleloyi. That is why for those who love Mayegun, to them, we are seeing our future. And if we don't do something now, we are going to end up even worse than our mama, our baba. Many, many of them are watching me right now. Some of them are actually watching me from outside Nigeria. That is the result of the future they saw. I'm a young man. Eh? Baba Nimio, listen, oh, I don't be boy, yo. Even though I'll be boy to many, many of the people where they follow me, because they'll be old people, old. <laughs> I'll be boy. But I'll be Baba. Oh. When my daughter arrives uh, on Wednesday, eh? Oluma, uh, you know, you say I can come off a lot more. Oluma saw Mama Yegun di Maru. Yes, Maru. You see, ah, so to batimu kufu, to timu bola wan, to timu omori sola, to timu akinola, ni bati le la, ye wan de ba de, o ti di awo, o ti di kamaru ni ya o. O wan mama ye gun, so to bati en wom, if you are watching me from anywhere, and you're like, ah, this boy, sometimes you don't even know that that's an insult, but fine. And because you be a boy, or you be, you be baba for where you are. But what I'm saying is this. When you are younger like me, when you were in your 30s, did you foresee what is happening today? For me, I am here now. I can tell you, by the time my Kofo Rola turned 35, and nothing is done as we are doing right now, it is either Kofo Rola will become an American. Honestly, she has the chance. Or she's going to come and become British, Canadian, wherever she wants to go. That's what will happen at the end of the day. My son, Bolamo, my daughter, Omori Sola, they went up elsewhere. Akiola is already British. Leila is going to be British. So all you have to wait for is to say, Yoruba, British. Odudua, British. Odudua, Canadian. Koforola, Odudua American, Omogbolawo, Odudua Canadian. If nothing is done, just like many, many of you grandma, grandpas who are watching me from America, London, all over the place, I bet it. When you were when you were younger, you were you were probably hoping that by the time you get to this age, you are not going to be wearing cardigan. You are not going to be wearing jacket inside cold. And they will say, Mama, am I fighting your mommy? Am I fighting your grandma? Who turned off the eating inside their grandpa's room? You want him to die? Because they cannot send you back to Yoruba land to go and enjoy sun. That vitamin D that you need at this stage of your life. You didn't see that then. Oh, your children are now Americans, are they not? Your children are now British. Are they not, Mama? You know what I'm saying? You know I'm saying the truth. Even though you yourself, probably you are American too. You are British too. But the bottom line is this. Maybe nobody saw today, back then, me, I am telling you now what it's going to be like in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Add that 10 years to my last uh, age, my daughter. She's going to be 23 in 10 years' time. Add another 10. My Koforola will become 33. She should probably have finished the education, married. And the reality of the world, creating her hard. Do you think, with the way Nigeria is, I would want my own daughter, my own children, 
to experience what I experienced. Now that I have known the truth, should I keep short until I grow old like you and I can look for any young person? Like my Yegun, who is now talking about a better place that we can retire to. So do you see why I don't fancy conditional like, conditional love? I love you, my Yegun, my daughter, my son. I want you to calm down. I like it. I love it. But don't make it, don't tell me that I should calm down just to satisfy people because my future is at stake. The future of my children are at stake. If children, I mean, the future of my own grandchildren, I'm going to be a grandpa too. I mean, anyway, even if I die before I see them, all of them will still say, I mean, all my children will still say, let us go and see grandpa. Wherever they bury me, they will say, now grandpa be this. He died this and that. I'm not afraid of all those things. But I'm more interested in, can I get more people to see this danger? Are you with me? Can we see beyond everything Nigeria wants us to see and see that uh, this is about us and our future? So that's what they do with the two. Uh, I've spent a lot of time talking about it. I wanted to tell you about uh, where, I mean, you know, it's actually 10 days now or so to the APC, Ekbekebese primaries. And it's also about, I mean, eight days to PDP, people destroying people's uh, presidential primaries. Everybody, wait till you say they get this capacity, they get that capacity, they will do this and that, wait and see, wait and see. Everything will come to the, it will come to more clarity in the next uh, four or five days and the next 10 days. So, but I don't think I have that time tonight again. I want to hear from you. There are people who said that uh, they couldn't come in onto the People's Parliament yesterday. Uh, and then uh, I said, I'm going to open the line tonight. I'll open the line. You can come and speak your mind, okay? So I just want you to know that uh, this is uh, who we are, and we are not afraid or ashamed of uh, displaying that. Uh, if uh, that makes anybody feel so uncomfortable, if anybody feels so disrespected, uh, the best thing you should do Trust me, see, if anybody, if anybody disrespects anybody I know, trust me, I won't listen to them. No. If somebody, if somebody, if, if, if somebody kind of disappoints me, eh, I will never waste my time going to go and listen to them. What are they talking about? What, are, what, do, are they talk, what do I want to go and listen to? I won't go there. So if you are watching me right now, eh, and you are on my Egon's diary political, you are causing nuisance. Even you yourself. I have not been reading too much of the comment too. Eh? Even yourself read the comments. There are people there. Like Mayegun. Eh? They will even give it to you worse than Mayegun. The best for you is to unsubscribe. Unfollow him. Unfollow Mayegun. And to me. Eh? You probably don't exist. It's up to you. So I'm going to take a few calls and I'm going to go make uh, my tea. But before I, I have somebody on the line, but that person is going to have to wait. Hello. My evening, General. Is that Ahmed? Yes. Right. Before, I go, before, before I move fast, let me just uh, attack one person here. Look at that. Uh, one Mumu will be here. Uh, okay, Abba Abba do go and get a cashew go chicken program. Cause we can achieve our rubbish food. Double the button and yeah, can come. Double the K K K Wawani can as a man Nigeria. Gabate and and I'm sure what will wanka. Tazona can a wahala can a chimatala a ma way. What a quarter book go and number rubbish food. Who might eat it? It don't connect up with you. Kuba and Siasa. When I chew a I see one. Do ira ira on kote nda mungu kabi sebo hari sebo hari yao ina ba hari nyakau go baza kubise ati kubise ati ku go baza kubise chuno kubise tu dika kwe tabi kuna chuo sewa ne sewa ne kachanta suzo si chala la tamu kura yua amakazo na kana kana typing rubbish sabo da ba kade tunani ma ibu meka i meka i na one mumu wa asim post for Facebook like that. Yeah. He came and, and he, goes, said, he, uh, now, he posted I mean, rubbish post. Oh, yeah. That is to the broadcast. 
Yeah, Ahmed, you know what you're going to do for me, yeah? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Now, Ahmed, I'm going to ask you to please give me uh, a minute or two, okay? I want to make tea. Okay. I wish I could do that. With okay. Camera, but you just came through and I'm like, okay, if you can give me that chance, yeah? I will be back. And okay. Everybody who is uh, still watching, uh, you can help I don't know if the, I don't know if the message I passed, I don't know if it's it rich. Oh, no, everybody heard you now. I haven't put you on it uh -huh. yet. Yeah, because you uh -huh. said you quickly want to do that, so I'll allow that. So I don't say we will talk. Please drop him first before the idiots move. I know, <laughs> I know. It can be. Oh, you know one thing, Ahmed. Stay on the line, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go on a break. When I come back, yeah, you can then make your contribution, and I'll take other calls too. No okay. Worries. Please stay uh, no on worries. the line. I'll be back. No one. <laughs>